The next thing you need to do is create holes for your LEDs. To do that, grab this cylinder shape and bring it over. You're going to change your dimensions so that its length and width is both 6 millimeters. And you can leave the height or even change it to even greater if you want. So you can choose where you would like your hole for your LED so you can move it around. Remember to move it up and down. You use your black cone at the top and you can put it on top of your building if you would like or you can have it facing the front. So maybe I want it as part of my sign. So I'm gonna change my perspective so that I can see my curved arrows. I'm gonna click on my curved arrows and then I'm gonna click in my number and I'm gonna change it to 90 degrees. So now it has rotated 90 degrees and now I can move my shape around. Remember to go up and down. I use my cone. Maybe I want one over here. Sometimes I find it easier to use my arrow keys to move my hole around. I'm gonna put it right above my door as it would for like a sign. If you want more than one hole, I suggest you copy it and you paste it. And you can move it over. So copy, control C, paste, control V. All right, get it where you want. Double check to see that it's gone through your walls, and it has. And now I need to actually turn them into holes. So I'm gonna change it from a solid to a hole, solid to a hole. And now I'm going to select everything. So I have the two holes plus my building, all three shapes selected, and I'm gonna click my group button. And now I have holes going through my walls and I should be able to see them on the inside of my building as well. You can have up to three holes for your LEDs, but you need at least one.